Welcome to a quick tour of Edge Clipper. So Edge Clipper is the online digital clipboard where you can put all your content and I'll just see how you get started. Over here you would request an invite if you already haven't done so. And once you do that you're going to get an email inviting you back to the site and you get to register at that point. So you just register over here and you're good to go. I've already registered so I'm going to log in. I could log in with my Facebook, my Twitter, or I can just log in with my Edge Decker account. And once that logged in, you'll notice the options in the upper right-hand side have changed. And you'll also notice you'll also have this ability to follow your different contacts. So let's take a look at them real quick. Um, you'll notice on the second nav bar, you'll be able to sort this list by popular, most recent, people you're connected to, your own stuff. And we also let you sort by different categories. These are the categories. They're all education-based, as well as type of link. Uh, audio and document downloads are forthcoming. But we also allow you to search the site over here. But the first thing you'll probably want to do as a new user is go over to the My Account button up on top. Over here, you'll be able to go and edit or add your profile information. So you can change your profile info. And you also could change your profile picture. And choose a file, size it up, and say OK. Now, over here, you'll notice you're going to see how many clipboards you have, how many edge clips you have, comments upon them, and likes. And over here, basically, this is how it looks. So I can go to Websites for Educational Technology and kind of take a look at all the sites down here. Documents, I can see my likes. And I can go over here and see over here. Click on any one of these, I can edit the actual description. I can click and get a uh, full description over here. And like with all of our stuff, you can comment over here using the Submit field. And you can also share it out to any place you want. You get an individual unique URL. You can also share this link on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, Evernote, Edmodo, Tumblr, or send it in an email. And some other cool options to share are also coming. So going back to the home page, I feel like we kind of jump around a little bit. Going back to the home page, you'll notice when I'm signed in, I also have this thing on the bottom called my clipboard. When I click on that, it'll pop up. And I could take something like tilde, and I can drag it into my clipboard. You'll notice when you're on a link, you'll get the following options. Edit, which lets you change the description that you gave it. You'll also get reclip, which means you could reclip it to a different clipboard. So if I click on that, I'll say choose your clipboard, and I can put it anywhere else I want. I can also go over here to share it, or I can comment on it. And uh, that's really very simple. Over here, if there's someone I want to follow, I can click on their name to see who they are. And if I could want to follow them, I could just choose follow. If I don't want to follow them, I unfollow them. And um, clicking on the content again, we allow you to play videos right from the site. Uh, right now we work with YouTube, SchoolTube, and we also work with Vimeo. And other video players are going to be added on soon. So there's a lot of cool stuff we're letting you do right off the bat. But people want to know, how do I add content? Well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Number one is the Submit button here. So Submit lets you paste an URL. And pasting a URL, you can choose images, links, videos, or documents. And based on the link that you provide, it'll tell you whether or not it's a video. You know, there's these little symbols I'll show you in a second that indicate if it's a video or an image or a link. You describe the link, you paste in the actual link, and you choose which clipboard you want it to go to. And that's it. Uh, notice over here, this is, shows you this is an image, this is a video, and further down over here, you'll notice there's links. Uh, there are also ones that are PDFs. And this is a link. So lots of different ways to, to know what content you're looking at. Now, you can also do it in a couple of other ways. So we went to submit over here, we pasted URL. You can also upload content. So you can upload an image or you can upload a document, so PDF or PowerPoint. And uh, you just choose your file, caption it, and that's it. Same as before. People want to know easier ways to, to add content. And here it is. Under our uh, About button, there's the Edge Clip buttons. And you're going to be able to drag this bookmarklet bar up to the top of your page over here. And now you have a bookmarklet which I'll show you how it works in just a moment. But essentially, you have that bookmark bar. There's also ways to add follow buttons for your websites. So you can actually put these buttons on your posts. If you're a blogger and you want to be able to have people clip content really easily, you can do that next to every post. And you could also add a button for your website over here. You could do it vertically or horizontally. And add that code to your page. And if you're interested in, in promoting us in any way, you can get the artwork files down there. So the cool thing is, let's say I'm on a website that I want to clip something on. Let's say I'm on Animoto and I want to clip one of these content pieces. I can go to Edge Clip It, and I can take any of the things I want. I'm going to go to the logo over here, click on that, 
And you'll notice it says over here, it's going to clip to my clipboard. I can put it on websites for EdTech. I describe that in the description, uh, you know, great slideshow creation tool. And all I do is go to edge clip it and it will show up in my main page. And that's really it. This is the home page. This is what you get to look around with now. There are also ways, I should show you one last thing. When you go to my account, you can go to clipboards. This is where you can actually see your clipboards that you have set up for each of your pieces of content. So here's my clipboard for uh, websites for EdTech. Now if I wanted to, I could take this website, this entire clipboard and go to share this clipboard. Now this is going to give me a unique URL that if I give to a user who's not signed in, it'll still give them access to this clipboard. Um, that's great to share with students. Let's say I'm doing a science lesson and I want them to share five resources. I could put the five resources into a clipboard and then just go to share the clipboard, send them that URL or post it onto Edmodo or Facebook, etc. And that way all of my students or my colleagues can access the items that I want them to have. So that's it. Right now there's actually a lot of stuff that we're working on to uh, make this product even more exciting and better. And hopefully you will enjoy it and use it and start using it with your kids too. So thanks for uh, taking a look around and check it out. It's edgeclipper.net.